First of all, I would like to thank Dr. Axel Sauter and Ezra Europe for their kind invitation to participate in this interesting table. I have no conflicts of interest. Over the next 10 minutes, I will try to make a quick summary of the anatomy of the hip joint that allows us to fix concepts to understand the regional anesthesia techniques that will be developed later. In this presentation, those who know me will be surprised by the level of English that I have achieved in just a few days. Later on, we will return to the grad reality at the time of the questions. I have used artificial intelligence tools for the development of this presentation with the intention of making it more didactic and understandable. The hip joint is a ball and socket joint that connects the femur bone to the pelvis. It is one of the largest and most stable joints in the human body, providing support and stability for standing, walking, running and other weight-bearing activities. It is comprised of two bones, the thigh bone or femur and the pelvis, which is made up of three bones called ilium, ischium and pubis. The ball of the hip joint is made by the femoral head, while the socket is formed by the acetabulum. The stability of the hip is provided by the joint capsule or acetabulum and the muscles and ligaments that surround and support the hip joint. The capsule of the hip joint is a fibrous structure that surrounds the front portion of the hip joint. It is composed of several ligaments, including iliofemoral ligament, which is the strongest of the hip joint ligaments and runs from the ilium to the femur. It helps to prevent hyperextension of the hip joint. The pubofemoral ligament runs from the pubis bone to the femur and helps to prevent excessive abduction and extension of the hip joint. The last one, the ischiofemoral ligament, runs from the ischium bone to the femur and helps to prevent excessive internal rotation of the hip joint. The sensory fibers in the ligaments that form the joint capsule of the hip play an essential role in providing proprioceptive and nociceptive information to the central nervous system, which is critical for maintaining joint stability and avoiding injury. The hip joint capsule has the most nociceptive, pain-sensitive fibers in its anterior and inferior regions. This is because these regions are under the greatest amount of tension during movements that involve hip flexion and adduction. In contrast, the posterior region of the hip joint capsule has fewer nociceptive fibers as it is subjected to less tension during hip movements. However, it's important to note that the distribution of nociceptive fibers within the hip joint capsule can vary between individuals and can also change depending on the presence of pathology or injury. Although there are many muscles involved in hip flexion, extension and rotation, from an anesthetic point of view, the psoas major and minor, iliacus, quadratus, lumborum and quadratus femoris muscles are the ones we should always keep in mind in order to understand and perform the different regional anesthetic techniques. The hip joint is mainly supplied by the medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries, which are branches of the deep femoral artery. These arteries provide the majority of the blood supply to the femoral head and neck. The medial circumflex femoral artery is the larger of the two arteries and is responsible for supplying the majority of the blood to the femoral head. It runs laterally and gives off several branches that supply the muscles around the hip joint as well as the ligamentum teres. The lateral circumflex femoral artery runs posterior to the femoral neck and supplies blood to the lateral aspect of the femoral head and neck. It also gives off branches that supply the muscles around the hip joint. The artery of ligamentum teres, foveolar artery, is a small artery that arises from the obturator artery and supplies the ligamentum teres of the hip joint. Additionally, the superior and inferior gluteal arteries, branches of the internal iliac artery, also contribute to the blood supply of the hip joint by providing blood to the muscles around the hip joint. The anterior hip capsule is innervated by branches arising from the lumbar plexus, specifically from L2 to L4. The posterior capsule is innervated by branches arising from the sacral plexus. Most of them originate from the sciatic nerve. The anterior capsule of the hip is specifically innervated by articular branches from the femoral, obturator and accessory obturator nerves. The posterior capsule is innervated by articular branches separate from the sciatic nerve the nerve to quadratus femoris, and branches of the superior gluteal nerve. Although there is some variability in the innervation depending on the individual, his physiognomy, and whether there are or not pathologies, the anterior capsule has a more nociceptive function than the posterior, 
which has a more proprioceptive function due to the lower presence of nociceptive fibers at this level. The femoral nerve arises from the lumbar plexus, specifically the posterior divisions of L2, L3, and L4 spinal nerves, and provides motor and sensory innovation to the hip joint and knee joint, anterior thigh muscles, and skin. The intrapelvic pathway of the femoral nerve involves its descent along the psoas muscle and passage under the inguinal ligament before entering the anterior compartment of the thigh. The most recent articles describe articular branches that descend to the articular capsule and that separate from the nerve itself shortly after its formation. At the inguinal level, these articular branches would be situated below the psoas muscle and its tendon. The articular branches of the obturator nerve arise from the common obturator nerve, the anterior or posterior divisions of the nerve, most frequently the posterior one, and supply the hip joint capsule along the inferior and superior borders of the acetabulum. These branches also provide motor innervation to the hip joint through the obturator externus muscle. The accessory obturator nerve arises from the ventral rami of spinal nerves L3 and L4 and travels through the pelvis along the medial border of the psoas muscle. It then passes between the obturator externus and adductor brevis muscles and enters the adductor magnus muscle. The accessory obturator nerve is a branch of the lumbar plexus that supplies the adductor magnus muscle in the thigh, similar to the main obturator nerve. It presents only in 10-15% of individuals, and when it is present, it can give an articular branch for the inferolateral part. The lateral femoral cutaneous nerve originates from the lumbar plexus and travels through the pelvis and thigh before dividing into multiple branches to supply sensation to the skin on the lateral aspect of the thigh arises from the ventral rami of the second and third lumbar nerves and travels along the posterior surface of the psoas muscle in the abdomen. The nerve passes through a small opening in the fascia lata at the level of the anterior superior iliac spine as it leaves the abdomen and enters the thigh. From there, it continues to travel along the lateral aspect of the thigh, supplying the skin over the anterior and lateral thigh, while the posterior branch supplies the skin over the posterior and lateral thigh. As explained, and attempted to make a summary of the articular innervation of the hip, taking into account its variability, the superolateral quadrant of the anterior capsule would be innervated by articular branches of the femoral nerve. The inferolateral quadrant is by branches of the femoral nerve and accessory obturator in cases in which it is present. The superomedial quadrant is by branches of the femoral and obturator nerve, and the inferomedial quadrant by branches of the same nerves. The distribution by quadrants of the posterior capsule is less defined, but we know that the upper quadrants are innervated by articular branches of the sciatic nerve, with the participation of the superior gluteal nerve for the superomedial quadrant, while the inferomedial quadrant is innervated by the superior gluteal nerve and the nerve to quadratus femoris. Thank you so much for your attention. I am eager to answer your questions with my real Spanish accent.